just how curvy is a curve? To measure the curviness of a curve, we use a property called curvature, which is represented by the Greek letter kappa. If kappa equals zero, curvature is nothing, so it's not curving and what you have is a straight line. If kappa is small, the curve deviates a little bit from a straight line. If kappa is big, the curve bends a lot more. In more formal mathematics, the curvature is the rate of change of the unit tangent vector, t, with respect to arc length, s, going along a curve. So if kappa is big as you move along the curve, the tangent changes a lot. And if kappa is small as you move along the curve, the tangent vector keeps pointing in much the same direction. Another property we can use is the reciprocal of curvature, which means calculating 1 divided by kappa. This property of the curve is called the radius of curvature, and at a point gives a radius of the circle that osculates the curve. A circle that osculates the curve just touches the curve at a point, and at that point the curve and the circle have the same tangent. Osculate also means kiss, so the circle whose radius gives the radius of curvature just kisses the curve. For circles, the curvature is easy to calculate. A circle with a radius of 3 would have a curvature of 1 over 3, or a third. For a smaller circle, the curvature kappa is bigger as it is a tighter circle and bends further away from a straight line. For example, a circle of radius 1 has a curvature of 1 divided by 1, which is 1. For a curve described by a function, the curvature can be calculated with a formula containing derivatives of the function. Let's consider an example of the function y equals sine of x. The first derivative of y, y prime, is cos of x. The second derivative is the negative sine of x. We can put these into the expression for kappa. Evaluating this at x equals 0 gives kappa equals 0, so at this point we have a straight line. If we work out the curvature where x equals pi over 2, we find kappa equals negative 1. So the radius of curvature is the reciprocal of this, which is 1 divided by negative 1, which has a magnitude of 1, and the negative sign indicates the curve is bending down below the tangent, which we call concave down. And finally, if we work out the curvature at 3 pi over 2, we get kappa equals 1. So the radius of curvature is also 1, and the positive sign of kappa indicates our curve at this point is concave up, bending upwards from the tangent. And most importantly, what's a squirrel's favourite ballet? The Nutcracker! Thank you for watching. <laughs>